We learned a lot from making Super Talking Time Brothers 1. And in the time that it took before we got to the next game, um, a lot of development had happened on Super Talking to, on, on SMBX. So we got to take advantage of a lot of stuff. The Talk House, I believe, uh, had, had done a lot of stuff, kind of cracking the code behind it. And we got to take advantage of that. Um, it's believed... I've heard, and I don't know if this is true or not, that they actually saw Talking Time Brothers and then decided to start cracking open talk, uh, SMBX. But I may be mis misunderstood or misremembering that. But at any rate, uh, did I hit two-player game? I did not mean to hit two-player game. One-player game, Super Talking Time Brothers, Mario. Let's go. This game has a story. Oh, so I should explain. There is a webcomic called um, Nintendo Super Squad, drawn by a member of the Talking Time forums, uh, that you should check out. I'll put a link in the description of the YouTube VOD. And it um, this game is loosely based on that. That's why uh, the Kirby you'll see in a little bit is wonky and all kinds of other stuff. One day in the Mushroom Kingdom, Princess Daisy was paying a visit. And for some reason, Link was also there. When all of a sudden... I like that toad who just gets bodied right there. I also like how Bowser jumps through the uh, the letter boxing. Bwahaha! You're mine this time, Peach, for real. Yes, you also get the 100 points for killing Toad. Wait a minute. He took the wrong princess. The Mario Bros. sprang into action to rescue Princess Daisy. Toad and Princess Peach followed behind. So you kidnap Daisy so you get to be Peach now. So did Link because he was there and why not? And we get to make Link levels. Meanwhile, a mysterious figure watches the heroes. Is he friend or foe? Super Talking Time Bros. 2! Let's hit it. This one has a map screen and a pipe pub. Pipe pub just lets you warp around the map. Wee! Uncle Ouija, Uncle Ouija, are you going on another adventure? I want to come too. I can be super helpful. I can give you hints, Uncle Ouija. Did you know that when you press the escape escape on the world map, you can use the left and right keys to choose who you want to play as? It's true. Escape being pause, I think. So, as you'll probably see... Whoop. I didn't mean to do that. Everything about this game is bigger and better. And I love it. Yeah, I believe that this... Don't we have a moderately mean level? I don't actually remember the joke. Yeah, this is moderately green. Uh, 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 I want that. Come back. Come back. I want you... Did it despawn? Nope. So this is just a typical 1-1. One, one. A little bit more going on with it than... uh. A little bit more going on with it than in the first game. And one of the key things is because we used a map system, the de design philosophy of this game is much more in line with Mario World than with Mario 3, like the first game was. So instead of trying to find exits, though there are secret exits, um, you're trying to find secret stars. There's secret stars hidden in basically every level. Well, no, every level has at least... I think every level has at least one secret star? I don't know. It'll all come back to me. Here we go. And this is what they look like. Little chunky Kirby looking stars. So 
Some have two secret stars, mostly the castles. I, I, do the castles end with the star, but there's also a hidden star? Is that how it works? So, instead of having a star at the end, we have a goalpost. Gene, get a hunt. What up from? I don't know why that trumpet's there. It's just funny. And here we go. Block rocking feats. <laughs> just to date this game a little bit. Actually, that song may have been... Block Rock and Beats may have been old by the time we made this. I honestly can't remember when that was a song. Just giving away one-ups like candy in this early game. Love it. Oh, that was a fireball. I randomly got there. Oh, that was in the 90s. I'm old. Leave me alone. All right, I think I want to make this weird jump here. Yeah. Oh, that wasn't what I thought it would be. All water must be swimmable in Super Talking Time Brothers. Always remember that rule. Uh, just coins up here, I guess. Yeah, some of these stars are really devious. This game is overall not that challenging, but finding all the stars can be a real pain in the butt. I spy, uh, I spy a lot of stuff going on here. Ugh. Jumping off of vines is difficult. I keep trying to double jump because I'm used to playing that level I was just playing. Yay! Star get. These guys. Okay, good. Thinking can be really tricky. Oh, there's bonus stuff up there. I can't remember what's in here. One up, Slark can't. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I missed the tape. And even more so than the first game, we really hammered consistency. We would get on you if you had wrong end of level look, or if you didn't use the right star, you know outline and all that stuff. Just keep traveling down this path and double back. Oh boy, Uncle Ouija, let's go spelunking. I think I forgot to read the name of this level. We'll go over all of them at the... Oops! Just, just walked off that ledge. Minty Mines. There we go. And our dev notes, we had... <laughs> yeah, I died just so you could see the name of the level. Because otherwise, you'd never be able to see the name of the level. In, our, in development, we had themes and names for all of the... Uh, worlds, but I don't know that they get called that in this anywhere in the documentation here. In-game. Is there anything in these blocks I want to get? Probably a P-switch in like the first one or something. No? Oh well. What is this P-switch going to get me? Uh, red coins. Eh. This might get me a star in this level, because that is a thing that is allowed. Get down there! Oh, I hope that wasn't my star. I hope that was just for like a one-up or something. That was probably my star. Oh, 
Well, I was trying to stop my slide so I could fireball that guy, and it just wouldn't stop. Oh, does the pipe hub have the world names? That would make sense. We also used a lot more custom music in this game. Um, so much so that people complained about download sizes. <laughs> because when it was new, not everyone had quite as good an internet as most people have now. And some people still don't. I'll, you know what? I will go back after, um, after the stream tonight. I'll go back and find the, the star I missed in Super Talking Time Brothers. I have a feeling that it ate one of the stars when I had to go... I had to do some, some technical things behind the scenes. So one thing I'm trying to remember, if you collect a star and then die, you keep it in this, right? So if I go back in and just go get that star... I should be good, right? I also like that how much faster the levels load when you use a hub. But yeah, basically I had a level that was broken um, and I re-downloaded some stuff and had some issues. But it's possible I just completely missed a star. All right, I think what I want to do is hit these lower ones first because it takes longer to sink than it does to swim upwards. <laughs> sink! Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Not the star. All righty then. On a hunting we will go. Oh, here we go. One of the pipes in... Um, one of the pipes in a level in World 8 was broken, and it's still broken, but I managed to get around it, basically. Uh, and I don't know what's going on with it, and it was something I know that was a known issue at one point, and I don't know why it stopped working for me. All right, let's just die now. Yeah, the pipe trap in um, Bubbling Cauldrons um, wasn't spitting me back out like it was supposed to. Yep. And see, I thought that was the way to the secret exit. Which it isn't. It's a red herring. I know. What's down here? Dino coin. I want my dino coins. I don't really need my dino coins. Oh, this is one of yours? I gotta remember that you are unpronounceable in this. That you are if Vagana Vakra. Alright, Q, where did you hide your secret star, bro? Oh, hello. Hi, I like note blocks. They're fun and easy to use. Just hold the jump button and don't worry about timing. Oh, I remember this one. I remember this one. It's over... Uh, here? No? Did I jump too soon? I think I jumped way too soon. Yeah, I'm at the end of the level. <laughs> well. <laughs> I forgot to read the name of the level again. I'm going to keep doing that. I'm going to keep not reading the names of the levels. It's going to be great. Everyone's going to love me. Uphill and downhill. Thank you, sir. I mean, I'm going to check the Star Pillar Sanctuaries to give all the credits, so... I mean, I'll get them all eventually. It's 
a nice world one kind of level. It's very, very breezy. No, that's not what I thought it was. That's it. That's the one I was looking for. Okay. Yeah. So I think what I'm going to do is do a full clear of World 1. And then that'll be the end of the Super Talking Time Brothers 2 uh, video. But then I'll... Um, is that just a way to the pipe hub? Oh, it is. Okay. We'll look at the pipe hub later when I need to actually get around more. And then I'll go see if I can actually track down what star I missed. Or if it is just a bug. I didn't read the level again. So this is a red level. So much like... Um... Wow, did we use that same pyramid formation in, like twice in the first world? We sure did, didn't we? I remember this one already. I definitely, I feel like my memory of Talking Time Brothers 2 is clearer than my one of Talking Time Brothers 1. Oh, nope, that is not what I thought it was. Maybe it does, maybe, maybe it's later on. That was satisfying. That was satisfying as hell. Oh. This is a trick that I don't think we used at all in Super, Time, Super Talking Time Brothers 1. Where you gotta be forced to use the P-switch. Now I remember. I gotta do this. I gotta go whoop, whoop, whoop. And then go under here. Because you can't get under there until you hit the P-switch. And this is either the star or the secret exit. This appears to be the secret exit. Maybe should have made our first secret exit a more just find the key, stick it in the door. I mean, this is fine. There's nothing wrong with this, but... I don't actually know where the... See, I don't know where the, where the keyhole is. I think I gotta bring it up here, but I'm not sure. Slight nitpick. S just the slightest of nitpicks. Ooh. Maybe the very, very, very first one that you're gonna encounter in the game should have been more straightforward. But hey, it's a secret. SMBX does not have the little opening and closing animation, which is a bummer. This takes you all over the place. Ah, our first Green Star place. Green Star Challenge. So this one's just called Green Star Challenge. And it's very similar to a uh, Switch Palace. Oh, if I had timed that right, he would have come and killed a bunch of things for front and profit. But he did. I did not. Yeah, these are just little... I don't know how you do that. I never did that, that kind of timing for anything. Yellow Yoshi, because why not? This is just for to give people a chance to just make a short little level. Goomba Sluice. Well, obvious thing is to go this way, isn't it? Oh. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I was like, there's got to be a secret over here, right? Oh, it's just a coin. I don't need that. I don't need those stinking dragon coins. I didn't find the red star in that last level I was in, did I? I gotta go back and find that, and the exit, and all kinds of stuff. There's a suspiciously silver pipe over here. 
Is sluice a fancy word for pipe? I was thinking it meant hill. This is tricky without using a, using one of these. You have to like time a bounce off of one of those falling ones if you don't use all. Oh. No, not sleuth. Sluice. Well, that that, that that secret pipe just cost me my Yoshi. <laughs> so that was unfortunate. <laughs> yes, yeah, sluice. Sluice? Slu slice? Oh, well. Oh. Is this one where I just fall below the... Yep, sure is. I feel like I did something wrong. Well, I didn't do something wrong, but... Honk. This does take me to the castle. Okay. So let's go back to... Shrooms and Slopes. Gotta find that... Got to find the other exit. Well, the other exit is just going to be the normal exit. Got to get the normal exit and find that star. Do this again, because why not? So much fun. All right, so this time we're going to take the upper path. Oh, okay then. We. star up here somewhere? There it is. Swimmy, swimmy, swimmy. A lot of water in this first world, isn't there? Alright, and this is where we came out last time. Except instead of going to the secret exit, we're going to be going to the normal exit. Ah, there you go. Oh, that does not just connect. All right, Maple Syrup Forest. I don't know where this song comes from. I mean, I could look it up. Hello, bullets. Not shooting. Oh, there it goes. Whoa, hey there. Not cool, blue dude. Whoop. Gotta wait for you to come back. I like these guys. They just look like they're playing catch, man. What does this say? Look to where the trees part.
So that's just kind of not my favorite way to do a secret, to be honest, to just kind of give a clue. So now I have to go back into the, uh, into the level. Oh, well, that happened. How did I manage to spring that before getting to there? I must have kicked that shell. And there's a thing here. I don't know what exactly it is that you're standing on, but there's a thing there. There you go. That's all there is to it. I suppose it's possible you'll accidentally hit that, like I did on my sec the second turn around. Um, yeah, whatever. I'll just eat the death. It feels like something that got added later on, um, because people weren't finding it naturally. Uncle Mario Bros, I invented some of my, I invited some of my pals from Dreamland to come visit. Isn't that great? So, basically, now that we have a Kirby NPC, we have a bunch of reskinned uh, Kirby enemies, because why wouldn't we? Like, seriously. I guess these are Gloombas. And a lot of them really work well, actually. As, uh... Like, it's obvious what these things are. As soon as you see them. Whoa, that's not what I thought it was. Ow. Got shot in the face by that not sniff it. Somewhere in here there is a star. I may have missed it. So they did something. Oh no, I can tail them, but I can't pick up those sniffets. These not sniffets. All right, no, this is what I need. I need to move. Blow something up. All right, there's my star. Let's go beat up Wispy Woods. The first of many uh, uh, mother brains where he's skinned to be bosses. Now, you can totally cheese this guy, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna beat him like a man. Or I might cheese it if I get hit, to, hit again. But you can totally just walk up to this guy and hold the apple in his face and it just will kill him. Because S and BX. Oh, poor little teardrop. I mean, the double hits are crucial since these things take like 10 hits each. I also like that our stars are all coded, even though they only count as stars. And that's it. That is it for the stars. Let's check out the Star Pillar Sanctuary. Moderately Green by Kayan and Zager. Block Rockin' Beats by Mad Hair. Shrooms and Slopes by Spoony Bard. Minty Mines by Spoony Bard. Maple Syrup Forest by Din. Uphill Downhill by Q Marsh. Sloop Goomba Sluice by Mad Hair. Green Star Challenge by Zager. 
And Wispy's Fort by Spoonie Bar. Two, one, two, one, 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 one. And that's it. And that, I'm going to call it a night on the Super Talking Time Brothers 2. <laughs>